Welcome. Today I want to go over some basics of drive-by wire throttle petals. This one is for a BMW and many of them out in the wild are very similar. This one just happens to be for a BMW F30. Now I have noticed in my research that pretty much most of the BMW pedals are the same from the E46 up to yeah F30, F80. A lot of these are all basically the same for a long time. There are two potentiometers inside and there are six pins. So you can just squeeze the side right here. Some of these, they are in different orientations, but as you can see down in there, there is, yeah, just six pins. And they're numbered one, two, three, four, five, six. The first two are grounds. The third is VCC2, so the power for the second potentiometer. The fourth one is the output one, so the first set of potentiometers, that's your signal out. And then five is power for the first potentiometer, VCC1, and six is signal two. Um, pretty basic. Really, it's just two potentiometers inside. And they're nice. They have a, a bracketry that you can mount them to, and they fit in pretty much anything. You could retrofit this into a lot of different cars and, with no problems. So let's move into the next section. Uh, this is the connector. Um, there we go. Six pins. Looks just like this. You squeeze it on both sides and it just clips in like this. Cool. Now, if we move over to the wiring section, there are two distinct sets of three wires for the potentiometers and you can break them out by their colors. So the striped yellow and the striped white, the green with a stripe, this is number two. And so number one potentiometer is just solid yellow and solid uh, white. The one thing that's counterintuitive is that the grounds are the opposite. So ground two is actually solid and ground one has the stripe on it, but they are discrete. They are separate circuits. They do not cross over. For example, if you take both the grounds, the grounds are not connected. Um, you can take a volt ohm meter for continuity and connect them like this, nothing. And as you can see, when it's connected, we get continuity. So they're discrete circuits, that's it. And they do have different resistances internally from what I have tested. So let me just pull it up on the bench. We'll hook it to a Speedduino just to give uh, a test here and we can show you in a second. As you can see here on the Speedduino, we just have the signal going to TPS, the ground and the voltage reference. VREF is five volts. So just take one of those distinct pairs, put it into the throttle position input on any ECU. You can test it on any ECU. Obviously you need an ECU that will work with drive-by wire if you plan to use it for drive-by wire, but just for a testing purpose so you can see it function, we'll just go with this. So let's back out the zoom here, bring this guy over and plug him in. So just like this, click it in. Okay. And I'm going to power on the Speedduino. Speedduino's on. Pull up Tuner Studio, and let's just uh, give it a test here. So I pull this up real quick. You can see it needs to be calibrated, but all I have to do is go into Tools, Calibrate TPS, and then if you can see here, I just hit Get Current. It's at 36 count, and then I squeeze it. Go to get current again and accept. It resets here and it fully functions. 
So it's that easy you can just see right there. And you can do it with the other pair too to test it. So I hope this helped some of you. The information is out there in Google searches and I'll try to put as much of it as I can in the description. However, I thought a video would be nice for those that are looking in the future. If you like what we do here on the channel, please consider becoming a member and or subscribing. Thanks again for watching.